Hey guys, and welcome back to GP Pets. Today we're talking about a basic 10 gallon aquarium. We're setting it up. So this is like an Aquion or Marineland kit. It's like a fluorescent kit. It's not LED. I just have a T8 light with the bulb that's made for plants and aquariums. So this is not a George Farmer style tank. So what we're gonna have today is we're gonna have this piece of bogwood. I just had it laying around. I have a bigger piece too, but it doesn't really fit in this tank. And then supplies you're going to need. Now, you don't have to have an, a master test kit, but it's good to have an, a, a test kit that can do ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. I have a video on the nitrogen cycle, so if you don't know what that is, go check out that video before you finish this, or after you finish this, whatever you want to do. So now I got the test kit, and the links will be in the description. I might not leave exact links per product, but I might leave like a website where you can get most of the stuff. So I did an unboxing from Modern Aquarium, so most of the stuff is from them. We have an Eheim Jagger True Temp 100 Watt. My only concern is it might be a little long for this tank. But there's plenty of lights out there you can fit in a 10 gallon, or heaters you can fit in a 10 gallon. Cheaper ones too. You don't need an Eheim. Um, the plants I went over in the other video, so I'll show you that when we get to that segment of the video. We got a thermometer. And I do apologize for this glare. I'm right by a sliding glass door. I can't. I can't cover it up. Sorry. We have some root tabs. Dang, that's a lot of glare. Got it. We got two packs of those. We got plants and we got pin sets. So, we're pretty much set. The only thing I'm probably going to add to this besides root tabs is the Osmocot Plus. Just because I like to give my plants every um, chance possible. We also have a 20 pound bag of Eco Complete. A little overboard, but you can only buy it 20 pound bags. And as you can see, there's a filter right here. It's a Penguin 100. It's just a cheap, you can get it for like $10, $11 on Amazon. The only thing I'm going to do, because I don't like cartridges, I don't believe in them. We're using Lava Rocks. I'll do a video eventually on Lava Rock for filter media and stuff instead of a cartridge. And then we got a sponge right here. You can buy intake sponges a bunch of places, but this one's just literally a block of sponge. I used a razor blade and cut a hole in it and stuck the intake in it. It's pretty easy and simple, but I recommend a coarse sponge if you're going to do that. So I'm going to change clips here. Hey guys, I'm back again. I had to go get the Osmocot Plus. You can get this at Home Depot or Lowe's or Amazon or wherever. I think it's $10 or $15 the whole canister. It'll last forever too. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to put our Eco Complete in there. I like Eco Complete because I can get it for a dollar or so a pound, which is cheaper than I can get most um, standard gravels. And this is like a lava rock, so it's very porous. And you don't have to wash it. It comes already wet. So to me, it's just, it's a win-win. You know, it's cheap, it's easy to use, it's inert. So I add my own root tabs or whatever I want to it. So first, before we put um, our Eagle Complete in, I just opened the bag. We're going to put our Osmocot Plus. Oops, sorry. Not going to go crazy. That's probably enough. Not an exact science to this stuff. Most of the time. Um, keep in mind, I also have Easy Green from Aquarium Co-op. Focus. I like it because it has amazing readings and it's just a quick pump per 10 gallons. I mean, you can't really get more easy than that. 
hence the name Easy Green. Now we do have two packs of floor straps. I've actually never used floor straps before, but a root tab is a root tab, right? So, so we got everything. So we're just going to put these all around, especially in this corner because of the scape I have planned. And guys, if you're planting a certain scape and you know you have heavy root feeding plants somewhere, then put extra root tabs there. Now, in this kind of space, the way I'm planning on planting it, I don't really need the, all the 10 root tabs in here, but I want to have options down the road. So if I plan on putting, you know, a bunch of dwarf hair grass right here and covering the whole substrate, then I need to have that option. And then the Osmocot, it's just a very slow releasing fertilizer need for potted plants, but it works great in aquariums too. So this is going to be a little loud, guys. Keep in mind it's not the whole bag. Still have plenty. Make sure your root tabs get tucked down, otherwise you'll have a mess. I don't know why, but it smells like chicken manure. Maybe it's the Eco Complete. I don't know. Doesn't usually happen, but I poured it in really aggressively, so all my fertilizers are coming up. See if I can get everything covered. Some Osmocot stuck in the sponge. I think I'm probably gonna use this whole 20 pounds. Because I paid $19.85. I ordered it on Petco, picked it up in stores to save 10%. So, you know, it's pretty cheap. So I'm going to try to really get it higher in this corner. And guys, there's not an exact science to this. If you have a scape in mind, do it your way. I'm doing it my way. I just really like Eco Complete. I have it in the Dream Tank. And it seems to work for me. I think I'm going to save this little bit because for now that's what I want. I don't see any root tabs or osmocot. I see some right here. Tuck those down. And make sure you have, you know, at least an inch of substrate at all parts of the tank if you're going to be planting. Another thing I like about Eco Complete is it has mixed sizes in it. So it's not all coarse, it's not all fine. You know, as you can see on my hand, there's a lot of fine stuff, but there's also a lot of coarse stuff over here. So, and this is already wet for your plants to plant in. Another thing you guys are gonna want is just a cheap spray bottle for planting, especially if you're doing a bigger tank. I'm gonna go ahead and put media in my filter. Like I said, I don't like cartridges. I don't know if you guys, I don't think this is gonna be in frame. But I just have some lava rock. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Might need to add some more later. So we got our fertilizers in. As far as the root tabs and osmocot, we got our equal complete in. Now is a great time to get your heaters, your equipment, all that stuff ready before you, if you ordered plants online, before you unseal the bags that they're in. Or if you just picked them up at your local Petco or something, then just leave them in the bags or in a tub, just make sure they're wet. So here we got our heater. I'm trying to keep everything in frame. 
I'm going to point this down. There's our suction cup. Got a second suction cup. It's kind of an awkward angle. So, and I recommend reading all your instructions. But obviously, do as I say, not as I do. I'm not going to read the instructions. Probably not, at least. But, you guys want to? It's fine. So here, just simple. Pop it on this nub. Easy. Mm, easy. A little bit of elbow grease. It gets on there perfectly. Now the LED light indicator. It's either here or here. I think it's here. Make sure that's facing where you can see it. Looks like it's set on 79. That'll work fine. I'm not 100% sure on what I'm stocking this tank with. I have a container of water off the camera. So I'm just going to wet these suction cups down. Because everybody knows suction cups need wetted down. Now what I'm seeing here is I'm going to have to angle this heater. I ordered a 100 watt heater. I think I should have ordered a 50. Make sure your tube is not touching any substrate or anything. You don't want any hot spots. But I'm sure you guys know that. So let's get this cord out of the way. That's a big cord from Eheim. He's fat. We got some wattage there. So try to get that pretty straight. We'll get our thermometer. Again, we're going to wet this down and we're going to place it right here. These um, thermometers usually have very, very, very garbage suction cups. Probably won't last a month, but that's okay. So I'm grabbing my plants here, off camera, grab my pen sets also. So, I'm back. I have very little space on this card, I just ran out of space on my other memory card. So this is going to be a lot more editing than I was hoping on this video. Let's put these red root floaters to the side. Now I'm going to use this piece. I already know the aquascape I'm doing. I recommend knowing, at least have some idea of what you're doing before you start. But everybody has their own style. If you don't want to do that, that's great. I just like to recommend certain things sometimes. So I'm going to start with the background plants. I'm starting with my corkscrew bell. I'm going to put it in the corner right behind the wood. My goal is to kind of get it going over the wood a little bit. So, if I can get these plants out. These ones looked a little rough, so I'm going to make sure I really moist them down. We've got one. We've got four plants here. Looking a little rough, but I think they'll make it. Val's pretty hardy, at least usually. So, we're going to go like this. Don't squeeze too hard, you don't want to crush the crown. And we're going to go just like that. Easy peasy, right? So that's there now. I'm going to cut this right now. I'm going to plant all the rest of the Val. I'll be back. Hey guys, we're back. So, you saw what we did already. I said I was going to um, tune in after I planted all the val. I decided to plant everything just because it's a lot easier to do off camera. So I put my Vesuvius here. My Anubias is I put here. Now I want to make a note on Anubias. Some people say you can't plant it in your substrate. 
you can as long as the roots are long enough that you can actually tuck the roots in under the substrate. The rhizome, which is kind of a horizontal stem, if that goes under the the um, substrate, then the whole plant is going to rot. Nobody wants that, so just make sure you don't do that. The easiest thing to do is to use a small rock and some fishing line or something or super glue and then just drop that in. That's my preferred way to do it, but I didn't really have the right rocks or super glue. The new base man up a tea I crammed in that crack in the wood. That was my plan all along. Kind of want to move this wood back a little bit. Perfect. Hopefully I just didn't crush one of my vows. So now I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to show you how to fill up your tank. I'm back, so now we're going to fill up the tank. So I have everything planted like you guys already saw. Now I have the, the second lid for my filter right there. You can also use a plate or a cup or whatever you feel comfortable with. And then we're just going to, I have this, I have a kind of a low powered power head in here, pumping water into here. Just because I'm lazy, you can use a python or whatever. So then this is going to slowly add water and it's not going to disturb the substrate too awful much. And I have been soaking my plants with a spray bottle so they're staying nice and hydrated. My Anubias is a very good chance they'll come unrooted. If they do, I'll reroot them off camera. So I'll keep updates on this tank. Um, this is a 10 gallon series, so there'll be updates, I don't know, bi-weekly or weekly or something like that. Show you the progress on the plants and the stocking and all this stuff. Now there's a couple things we haven't, I'm trying to keep this going and close the lid. Filming problems people. I'm disturbing the substrate, so I'm trying to keep that on the lid. And I'll be back. Hey guys, and welcome back. My camera just did a weird thing, so I don't know what's happening. Um, we have a few things to do. Some of these aren't 100% necessary, but I like to do them anyways. So I already added my Prime, which is my water conditioner choice. I'm on a well, so I don't technically need it, because I don't have chlorine or chloramines. But I like to do it anyways, it gets rid of heavy metals. We have our Fubal Cycle, 25 milliliters to start the cycle. This stuff seems to help a lot, in my experience. The bacteria that's in the Eco Complete, in my experience, I've used it on the Dream Tank. It doesn't seem to do anything for me. Now, it could just be me, or maybe everyone feels like that. Here we got our Red Root Floaters, now that we actually have some water to speak of in the tank. And start putting some of these guys in there. These guys are packed in there. I like this because they actually gave me a lot of them. They're a little crunchy. Oh dang it, I just messed up. Oh man. Look at this. I have pieces going everywhere. But you see the idea of what I'm doing. Put the red root floaters in there. Got everything else in there. Thermometer. I'm going to plug in my filter and my heater when I get the rest of the water put in. And I'll see you guys in, I don't know, a week or so. Oh, and one last thing. Our Easy Green. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. So, I'm out guys. I know this is a long video. So, share with your friends. I'm out.